everybody, it's Christy back with another video. And I did it. I impulse bought something. It was these pencils from AliExpress. So Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, thank you. I am excited, but you got me. You got me and I bought these pencils because she literally said when she reviewed them that if you are somebody that has Prismacolors and a nice set of Prismacolors that you enjoy, but you feel like you haven't invested in good pastels, that this is a great inexpensive set to go with your Prismacolors and uh, work in, in pastel. So I had to have them, I had to try them. Um, they were like 16 bucks and they took two months to get here, but here they are. And we're super excited. I don't think they took quite two months to get here. Um, it's almost the end of February. So, oops, I opened the other end of them. So we are going to give these an unbox and a swatch today and just see where the wind takes us. That is really bright on that box. So you can hear my dog down there making some serious noise. Okay, so we have two trays of pencils. They are meant, I think, to mimic the Holbein pastel pencil. So we've got this tray and this tray, and they are beautiful looking. And I feel like nothing was damaged in shipping. They look pretty good. Um, just pulling one or two out here to see. Pull this one out. Um, yeah, the writing is definitely a little bit hard to read. That one says cream. And it looks like the the quality is pretty good though. Like look at how nice and centered. That's really centered on that pencil. I saw one that looked a little off center here. Let's take a look at this one. Um, this one looks like it might be a little bit off center. Can you see that on the screen? Maybe not. I don't know. It looks like a little bit on the wood. Can you see how the wood is a little bit longer on one side than the other? So we're going to um, see when I sharpen some of these when I go to swatch them exactly what's what. Um, yeah, like this one here. Look at the way that it has been sharpened. It looks like the wood might not be wholly centered on that pencil. So I, let's sharpen this one and see. Let's do it. We'll use my little um, Coom Ellipse sharpener. I don't know if you guys have ever used one of these, but I love the sharpener. I feel like it does such a good job. I'm just cleaning it out because I know it's not cleaned out. All right, let's give it a shot and see. Oh, so it's sharpened pretty nice there. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. It feels like it's gonna be nice. It's got a nice tip and it's got a nice wide piece of lead in it. I really like that. Okay, so we are gonna just swatch these. I Like I said, I bought them from Anstall Stationery Store and I will link their um, store in the description. They did not send these to me for free, I just, saw them on the Frugal Crafters channel and I had to try them. I just thought they would be a great addition to my colored pencil collection and they were much cheaper than any other pastel option that's on the market right now. So I wanted to try them and see if I thought they were all that in a bag of chips. So I'm going to swatch them and then maybe do a single piece of art with them. Uh, you'll find out when we go to the next phase of the video because I haven't done it yet, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely gonna take them out of this container eventually. I'm probably just gonna mix them into my big container that I keep my Prismacolors on my desk in. Um, and if I like them enough that I want them with my travel set of Prismacolors, I'll honestly probably buy a second set because they were $16. So if I like them that much, that's probably what I will do. But for now, I'm gonna keep them with my big bin of pencils that I like to use here at home. And yeah, we will see, we we're gonna get to swatching and see what happens. So voiceover Christy here. And I just wanted to say that I decided to swatch these both on white paper and on black paper. I wanted to see the difference between the pigmentation for white paper and black paper. On the white paper, I did a kind of three-toned swatch. So you'll notice when I'm coloring right now that you'll see me do one light pass and then two-thirds of it gets a medium pass and the last third of it gets like a heavy burnish. On the black paper, what you'll notice is that I just tried to get one nice 
uniform pigmented swatch. I didn't try to do a light to dark kind of deal. Uh, my main reason for that was because I really wanted to compare the pigmentation between the, the um, the Brute Fruiters and some of my Prismacolors, and so that felt like the best way to do it. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up there. I did start working on an art piece with the Macron pencils by themselves, and I think I'm probably going to end up showing that um, at a different time after I've played with these a little bit more. I still did give my final thoughts at this juncture at the end of the video, so I will let you watch the rest of the swatches, and I will talk a little bit more about what I thought then. Bye!
So I have been playing with these um, Macaron colors by Brute Fruner for now a couple weeks. And um, I'm just going to show you the swatches today and talk initially about how I'm feeling about them and whether or not I think they're worth it. I paid, I believe, $16, so 16 17 bucks for these, less than $20 on um, AliExpress from Anstall Stationery Store. That is the only place I could find them that I was going to trust that they were going to get to me. Um, and um, I did some swatches. I did a few swatch comparisons on black paper to Prismacolor, and I'm going to talk about those. And um, I want to show you a couple of things with the pencils now that I've been playing with them for a bit. So first of all is I am definitely taking them out of this packaging. I'm just trying to do a few dedicated pieces with them before I completely remove them from this packaging, but I will tell you this packaging is not great. Again, you're not pay you're paying $17. So for $17, the packaging is is going to do what it should, which is keep them safe and keep them from getting destroyed in shipping. However, I do have one that is definitely got broken lead. Um, so you can see this one pencil I've had to sharpen weight on here and the lead I'm using right now is loose. I'm just trying really hard like can you see how wiggly it is? The lead in there is wiggly. I'm just trying really hard not to use it and preserve it because I started a piece where I didn't realize this was broken and was like a third of the way through coloring a big area with this color. And yeah, so this tip broke, this tip broke, but has been fine since. And I think, yeah, this one is sort of shorter. This tip broke, but has been fine since. But so, I mean, for 50 pencils, three of them having a little bit of an issue at this price point isn't horrible. Um, they just happen to be three colors that I really, really like. But the good news is that if I really like those colors, Prismacolor has adequate replacements for those colors because they're pretty bright. They're not on the more pastel -y range. This whole set has seemed to be fun. But the packaging is kind of annoying. Like you see, I did that to show you and it just flew off my desk. Um, how easy it is to kind of pop a pencil out of place. So you kind of got to be really careful when you're popping these in and out that you're not at all tipping this the wrong way or like because it will just fly the pencils everywhere. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. But it's not the end of the world. Eventually these are going to end up in here in this thing right here with my Prisma colors because I want to use them in conjunction with each other. So that is the first thing. Let me show you the swatches on white. So I think they turned out really nice when I swatched these. I specifically did um, one pass, two passes, and then three passes with kind of burnishing on the last pass to see how well it would burnish. This is um, this is my booklet of regular um, pe colored pencil paper from Coloring Bliss. Yeah. So um, it's got a little tooth to it, but it's not like a cold press watercolor paper or anything like that. So I think these do really well. So they lay down really nicely. They weren't super hard to lay down or layer on each other. Um, they weren't quite as easy as my Prismacolors are, but they were pretty easy. And I really have enjoyed working with them. I think the color range is really good. I love the amount of earthy colors that we get in here. I think that earthy pastels are something that I struggle to have in my collection. So this was a really good buy for me. I'm going to show the black swatches I did now. So on the black swatches, um, I left space next to them specifically because this is me testing a Prismacolor that I think is of similar um, tone, tonal quality to my eye. So for example, you can definitely see that like if this is meant to be the same color, um, this one has more pigment. So these definitely don't have as much pigment as Prismacolor. Um, like this one here, this one matches this one better, but you can just see that the Prismacolor, the blue ones are really very apparent that this side where I'm testing the Prismacolor definitely has um, a little bit of a higher pigment payout. I even tested one of my Poscas. Um, I have a, a few Posca pencils against this just to see, and it had a better pigment payout as well. But overall, those are pencils where you're going to be paying a lot more, lot more per pencil than this set. And so I was just trying to see like, how is it 
such a better pigment payout that like I would really really notice it and it's better but I don't think if I was doing a full piece with these that it would be so much objectively better that these would not be worth my money, especially if I was starting out. So I think for a starter, I think for somebody that wants a set of pastel pencils to play with, knowing how much the Holbein pencils cost, um, knowing how much it would cost you to do this with Prismacolor open stock, because, I mean, let's say that you buy a Prismacolor, so I think I started with a set of 36. And that's a great set and there are some of these colors will be duplicates from that set but not many and if you are somebody that wants a lot more light tones um, this is a great affordable option to kind of add that so overall so far like I said I've only I'm starting to work on some full pieces with these guys so I can't say for certain that yeah definitely everybody should run out and buy these and everybody shouldn't run out and buy these if you have a lot of colored pencils this might not make sense for you if you have the Prismacolor set of 150 I don't know that you need these I think you probably have enough colors there to make your way but if you are like me and started out with a Prismacolor set of 36 and then I tried to buy some of the blending shades open stock over the years so I probably am up to about 50 to 55 maybe 60 Prismacolor colors in my collection this is a great add-on for me and then as I use colors up I can go ahead and I can add um, the open stock Prismacolor version of these colors to what I'm using um, I don't have a set of polychromos I don't have a set of Caran d'Ache luminance pencils I have I have a very small set of Dermot Lightfast and Caran d'Ache luminance pencils combined that has maybe 15 pencils in it but that's like something I'm working up towards um, so I don't have anything that's quite that fancy or expensive. My best pencils for my purposes as an art hobbyist are Prismacolor, and I think these guys would be an excellent addition if you are in my boat. Um, if you guys have any other questions, I'm going to link the store below where I bought these so that you guys can find them if you would like them. And uh, I think that's going to be it for me today. So I hope that this video inspired you to either look through your collection and try something with pastel pencils or maybe to find a good buy if you're in the market. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Hope that you make some artsy bits yourself today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.